Hey guys, it's your best five friends. I'm Kelsey. That's Rachel. Rachel, comebacks galore in boxing. We I got know, right? Mike Tyson, Roy, Roy Jones, Jones Jr., Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah, so Oscar made it official, right? So he talked about this a couple months ago, but it seemed like, yeah, I'm considering a comeback. Versus now he's like, I'm coming back, y'all. Who else? Right? I want to know, Rachel, since everybody's coming back, it seems like. <laughs> Let's just start naming the comebacks that we want to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come comebacks that benefit us as human <laughs> beings. Okay, I'll start off. No, I do. I want to see Andre Ward come back. Oh. Come back, Andre. Somebody... Here's actually somebody that like legitimately I think could come back and. Well, that's a like a legit at the highest level sport. Yeah, come back would be able to compete at the highest level. Seems like he made. We've talked about this in another video. He made the decision to retire for like the you know, uh, quality of life, better or met, like it was the best decision for him and his family. Um, I think he's Well, said, now you're making like, me reverse my opinion. <laughs> I just like watching Andre. I guess I can watch old Andre Roy. But Andre Roy was one of the best fighters ever, arguably. Like, he's one of the best fighters of his generation for sure. Undefeated. I like to watch him fight. So, I mean, I'm not saying he should go back on that. If it... <laughs> Yeah. The thing is, is boxing's a really hard sport. Yeah. So if you don't need to box... I get it. I he's feel great. like... To get in the ring and like give it your all, like I can see how that. He's difficult. great on the mic too as a color commentator. I think he particularly excels in the role of just completely ignoring some of the ridiculous things that Tim Bradley says. <laughs> Sometimes I, Tim Bradley will say something, and Andre Roll just be like. <laughs> I wish his his voice had a was a little had a different tone or something. A timber, a different timber. His his voice gets a little lost for me. Hey I'm, guys, it's Andre Ward I'm here. I'm not an auditory person, so I really need that voice to stand out amongst like crowd noise and what do you the think? other commentators. Do you think he has an opinion on your voice? No, I don't. I don't think he's ever heard me. So. We'll ask him. <laughs> Speaking to it, like being hard, like boxing takes like a lot. So if you don't need to fight, it's hard to get back in the ring. But in the same vein, somebody that would still be excellent would be Floyd Mayweather. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, and Floyd, <laughs> so you're going like, to see Floyd. You're going to get that wish, Rachel, at least in an exhibition bout. Well, yeah, but we're talking like real You want comeback, straight rules boxing? Like real boxing. Floyd could come back and be like a whole new like part of the division. Like it would just, you know, and here's what I want to see. Like Floyd come back and being like, come one, come all. I'm going to just knock each of you down. Like he's going to just take, you know, take each one out. And clear out the division. And retire 75 and 0 <laughs> at 75 years old. This is the kind of comeback I'm talking about, not just like well, a, that's a, a big one. A one, a one time thing. I'm talking legitimate. Hey, I'm a boxer again. Let me give you another comeback that we need boxing. Conor McGregor! Oh, okay. You know, Conor McGregor sold more pay per views than in a boxing match than just about anybody else besides <laughs> Floyd Mayweather has ever done, people. He wants them hands again. He's been training. I think we should see Mayweather versus McGregor too. Or more intriguing to me is McGregor versus Pacquiao or Manny Pacquiao. Or even more, even better to me, Conor McGregor versus Oscar De La Hoya, the comeback. Because that truly, I don't want to get off on a tangent here, but that fascinates me. The idea of, I think Oscar's 40, how old is he? He's, he's 40 something. I want to say 47. 47-ish. He started in a weight class that was a lot lower than Conor McGregor, right? So Conor's a lot physically larger than him. But Oscar Hoya won a gold medal at the Olympics. He's one of the one, he was one of the best fighters of his generation, one yeah. of the best fighters in boxing history. So like, where does that you know leave him against it a younger, bigger McGregor? Makes him like a more evenly matched. Well, that or could, could he really just annihilate Conor McGregor? I don't. Like I sincerely do not know the answer to that question. I would like to see it. I know people are have strong opinions on each side, but I've seen UFC fighters. I mean, the problem I think is we compare UFC, all UFC fighters, all UFC versus boxers to Conor versus Floyd, when Floyd happens to be the best fighter the last right, right, right. 50 years or whatever. So, I mean, not everybody's like that. So, I don't know how that would be. I'm surprised you didn't say Vitaly Klitschko. Well, that's my fun one. So, I don't think. Uh, Vitaly Klitschko can come back and be like, I'm here forever, guys. Like, I'm, a, you know, I'm here to box and cle clean out the heavyweight division, per se. But could he have a, like, a comeback fight? Like, would I enjoy that? Yeah, like, I'm a huge, like, uh, but I'd want to see him, like, as Vitaly I know. 
I don't know if I'll be able to see the Vitaly, I know. Mike Tyson has shown us in very short little clips that maybe, maybe we can see the Mike Tyson of yesteryear. He showed us just enough to swindle <laughs> us at least out of that 50 bucks. So we can kind of get like, you know, we can have like this fantasy and then go and watch it and who knows, like we don't know what we're really going to get, but like, yeah, like that's what I want. I really, I'm not sure I want to see a beloved fighter of yesteryear get in the ring and not, like, it'd be sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? That happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, that happens when fighters can't hang up the gloves, right? When they, yeah. you start seeing them, you're like, okay, guy. Yeah, it's right. much, it's much better for a fighter to get. Still out fine for them, too but early like as a fan, late. it's, it's, it's hard. Still fine for the fight. Like, they can make decisions for themselves and they want to keep fighting. Like, who cares? Like, yeah, you want to be, like, continue your boxing well well into, you, like, your, your golden years? Like, that's your decision. But me as a fan, you know? Yeah. I'm going to leave you with one more just I quickly thought of. Um, how about Ricardo Mayorga? What's he up to? <laughs> I don't care what he's up to. That dude could straight up fight. Smoking a cigarette. Maybe he's fat now. I don't know. I have no idea. What's well, going on I in his feel life, like if you're going to say Mayorga, then you can also say, uh, what's his face with the broken orbital bone? Uh, you know, that guy. Yeah, Antonio yeah, Margarito. Yeah, yeah well, Margarito. Now that you say it. Yeah. He was, he did. I mean, yeah, people don't like him because of the rap thing. What's the rap thing? <laughs> well, when he fought Shane Mosley and they discovered that maybe he had plaster around his hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I was thing. thinking, like, rapping, like, you know, like a musical thing, and I was like... Hey, what about <laughs> Shane? Why isn't Sugar Shane coming back? Sugar Shane's always in good shape, but bet he could come back. Yeah, we could get Sugar Shane in We could get right? Shane, yeah, that could be the third fight. I don't know why Shane would take that fight. So he, becomes, <laughs> he already got both wins, and both were close fights. Yeah. Those were really great fights. If you haven't seen Shane Mosley versus Oscar De La Hoya, you should watch those fights. Two great champions that maybe don't get enough credit, people! I'm here to give credit. I'm also here to tell you to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, hey, before that, the other thing that you should do is tell us who do you want to see Ooh. make a comeback in boxing. Ooh. Let us know in the comments because you're our best fight friends, and I like having like People. hearing from yeah. you, and that's how I hear from you. Unless you're going to start your own YouTube channel, and you know, I don't know, you can do that. But also tell us in the comments who do you want to see come back. Ooh. Now, like, comment, and subscribe. I mean, you're already going to do the commenting to tell us about the I would comeback. hope that you would already like, comment, and subscribe. Before. Like the video. If you subscribe. haven't liked and commented and subscribed by now, then frankly, I'm offended. <laughs> you can just comment and be like, hi. Oh, so no. if you put hi in Hello. words, I will imagine, hi. Hello. Like that. Kelsey will imagine it like that. Ha. <laughs> Actually, if you, if you comment hi, like that. That's what Kelsey will say when he reads the comment. Ha. Ha. Hi, <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our ridiculous show. <laughs>